Namaste, namaste. Welcome, welcome to Preeti's Yoga, Pilates, Pranayam, Meditation. Welcome to your me time, to your class. Today, we are going to start our warm-up. Everybody, please make sure you have a chair in front of you. And we're going to do genie arms. Arms can be connecting the elbows or cross over your shoulder. And all we're going to do, we're going to sit only at the edge of our chair. When we get up, we lift up our heels. Drop the heels. We sit down. And we lift up our hips. So when you sit down, don't be too comfortable. As if you're tapping your hips. As I'm showing it to you. Tap your hips. Come up. Heels up. Down, down. Up. Heels up. Down. Soft. Down, down. Very good. Today's all exercise are designed with for scar sarcopenia. Very good. Give me four more heels up. Excellent. Good job, Tarini Vain. Last three. Two. Last one. And we come up. We unlock our posture sitting at the edge of our chair. We all are getting old. I'm not saying it in a negative way. So... Sit a tiny bit back, but not resting your back. Holding the edge of our chair. Straighten out your legs. Point your toes. Leave it pointed and give me flutter legs. Excellent. Warming up our thighs. We warmed up our calf muscles. Now, this is also doing a little bit of your cardio. Excellent. Now, can you give me a dolphin face? Facial exercises where the cheeks are sucked in and hold on to it as much as you can. Slowly drop your legs. With this, now, keeping it pointed, we're crisscrossing it. Excellent, crisscross. But I don't want it fast. So observe which part of your body, your inner thigh should be activated. So point your toes. Chris, hold, pause. Cross, pause. Now you see the difference? If I go like this, but now you see a difference? I want that pause today. I really want that pause. Point your toes and pause. Point your toes and pause. Point and pause. Excellent. Point your toes and pause. One more time, bound man. And one more time. And slowly let it go and release your dolphin face. Wonderful. Now, one more exercise we are going to, we're going to do Chakyasan. Before we start Chakyasan, we're going to confuse our brain. So, single arm circle. For this, you continue, but your spine is straight. You're not rounding your back or arching your back like this. Neutral spine and as soon as I say, go, it's a game. Opposite direction. Opposite direction of whichever you were doing. Again, opposite direction. Very good. Continue one more time. Opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. And relax. Fantastic. Now, my dear friends, interlace your fingers. Your arms are straight. Try not to bend your arms like this. Okay? And we are going to make a nice letter O. Do not lift up your heels. So zip up your thighs. Zip up your thighs means connect your thighs together. Glue your thighs in. And it doesn't have to be a big circle. Very good. Nice going in all direction. You can lean back a little bit. Last three. Two. Last one. Coming back to the center. Once you're back to the center, 
do it in the other direction. Whichever direction you had, do it in the opposite direction. I just want four more pounds. Ready? Four. Very slow. What I want is I want you to feel the stretch over here. Very good, Keka. Last two. Because see, when I come at the back, I slow down. Last one. And we come back. Excellent. Excellent. Now, my dear friends, interlace your fingers at the back. We're going to warm up our shoulders and our shoulder blade. So, looking straight, my arms, push your elbows back. And now, take a deep breath in. When you breathe out, chin goes to the chest and the elbows come in. Open the elbows by arching your back. We're doing cat and a cow. Breathe out and breathe in. Arch your back. Breathe out, round your back. One more time. Breathe out and breathe in. Slowly coming back. My dear friends, we are going to activate our lymphatic nodes in our shoulders behind your ears. For that, we are going to take a deep breath in. And we are completely breathing everything out. So your focus is that you need to breathe out. As soon as you breathe out, hold your breath. No more breathing. And all we do is our shoulders go up and down. But you're holding your breath. Okay, you can close your eyes, come in Jnana Mudra, taking a deep breath in, breathe out, and hold, and shoulders go up and down. Five, four, three, two, one. Once you come out, take a conscious deep breath in, and a deep breath out. We do this in pranayam also. So remember, what was your cycle? We took a breath in and then we exhaled, right? And then we hold it, we hold our breath. So breathe in, breathe out. So what is our next thing to do? Is breathe in again. Remember that because we are holding our breath. Fantastic. Now, my dear friends, we have two choices. We can hold the chair, wherever chair is needed. But we are going to strengthen our calf muscle. All these body parts, what we are doing is, we are doing because we are aging. Sarcopenia. I'm going to keep on using these words to prepare you for our topic. So give me a pile legs. What is a pile legs? Both the heels are glued together. Look down and check it. Your toes are facing opposite. And that is your thighs are zipped up. Thighs are zipped up. Now, holding the chair, all I want to do is not too high. Very important, not too high. So lift up and down. Up and down. Up and down. If you can challenge yourself by keeping your arms without touching, this is excellent for balance. Now, one more time, look down and open up all your ten toes. Open up all your ten toes. So that they know each and every toe is helping you to stay lifted. This time, stay lifted up and bounce it up, up. Five, four, three, two, one. Gently come down one more time. Gently lift up. Seal your, seal your heels, seal your heels. And up and up and up and five. Four, three, two, and one. Gently come down. Now, we did activate our calf muscle. What did we do? We did activate our lymphatic nodes. Now, take your heel and let's bow down. So bring your shoulders towards those five toes of your right side. And we bow down. One. Two, and slowly come up. One more time. Taking a deep breath in. 
And while we breathe out, we bow down a little more. And see if you, if you can bring your toes down towards the yoga mat. Only if you can feel the stretch in your quadricep. That is behind your thighs. And gently come up. Ready for the other side? Come up on your heels. Toes are facing you. Shoulders turned around. Take a deep breath and bow down. Excellent, Jessica. And slowly come up. Very good, Malini Ben. And one more time. Consciously take a deep breath in. Ah, bowing down. And see if you can gently drop your toes towards the yoga mat. You don't have to drop it completely. Feel the stretch. Slowly come up. Very good. Very good. Excellent, my dear friends. Now, my dear friends, we're going to elongate our fingers. Interlace your fingers. Interlace your fingers. And come on up. Very good. And lift up your heels. Drop your heels. Lift up. Drop. One more time. Lift up. And drop. And meet me on the side. Feel the stretch in your obliques in the side. Very good. Slowly coming up. Taking a deep breath in. You breathe out and you dip on the left side. And slowly come up. Excellent, my dear friends. Now, I'm going to move this chair. We're going to work a little bit on our sides. So, Arms are up and again interlacing your fingers and you dip sideways. Now from here, stay here, but rotate your chin and look to the ceiling. Look at the ceiling. Now come back, come back and we come back up. Okay, so down, chin up, back to center and all the way up. This time, see if you can close your eyes and do it and see which body part of your body is affecting. Take a deep breath in, breathe out, lean down, chin up, center, slowly come up. Last time, breathe in, breathe out, now chin up, bring it back to the center and slowly come up. Very good. Let's rotate our shoulders one. Two, nice rotation. Three, reverse. One. I want you to hear that crackling sound if you have it. And three. Now we do it the left side. Interlacing our fingers. Lift your body up first. Once you lift your body, you'll feel a stretch in your belly. And then you lean. Send your arms far away. Send your arms far away. Now bring your chin facing the ceiling. Now come back to the center. And you slowly come up. Three more times, okay? So, once you dip, send your arms far away. Chin to the ceiling. Coming back to the center. Gently come up. Very good, Rupal. Ready? Dip down. Chin up. Center. And slowly come up. Excellent. One more time. Nice shoulder rolls. Opposite direction. Very good. Last exercise without the weights. Again, still working on our flexibility, working on our balance, and also working on our obliques. So, arms are this way. Of course, opposite hand, opposite toe, but see, I'm bending my knee. And this time, what am I doing? I'm trying to touch the outside of my heel or the outside of my ankle, wherever you are. Or you can touch your shin, but it has to be the outside. So, bending your knee, touching the outside, then we come up. Then, again, opposite direction. See if you can touch the outside of your ankle, and you come up. Can we do that now? Everybody got it? If you cannot, Hansabin, touch your outside of your thigh. Outside of your knee. Doesn't have to be exactly there. I'm just giving you a benchmark. Ready? Let's go. Bend your knees. 
and come up. Left side and come up. Right, up. I want you to go outside. Your fingers should be going outside. Beautiful. Excellent. Don't skimp yourself. So keep your legs further more far away. Is it Smita Thakkar? More legs far away. Jetla Manetla Pagdur. Who is it? Uh, yeah, Smita. Pag Thoda Dur. Very good. Continue. Don't wait for me. Tamini Min, good job. Amita Ji, little more legs far away. Last two. Last one. Make sure you're bending your knees. Bend your knees. Very good, Meena Bin. And slowly come on up. Excellent. Shake it out. We did a fantastic job. And I'm proud of you. Real quickly, we will do Surya Namaskar. But today we will add a little bit twist. So please give it a try. Before we start Surya Namaskar, let's start setting up an intention. Closing our eyes with a beautiful smile. Wherever your mind is, all around the world, all around the chores, all around the people, bring it back. Make it very weight-free, weightless. With me, let's take a deep breath in and an audible breath out. One more time. Deep breath in. Gently commit yourself for your me time for the next one hour. Opening up your eyes with a beautiful smile. Namaste. We start with Surya Namaskar, Sun Salutation. Meet me in the front of the yoga mat. I will face you. Slowly bring both arms. Open up your five fingers. You can use Ujjayi breath. So breathe in. Bring your arms up. Lift your height up. As if you're trying to pull something. Now drop your shoulders. Once you drop your shoulders, bring your hip forward. Give me prayer hands. Biceps are touching your ears. Squeeze your hips. One, two, straighten up yourself. Slowly arms come down. Connect both the elbows. Once you connect the elbows, gently take four counts to come down. One, two, three, four. Let go of your fingers, whether fingers and toes, they meet each other. Take the top of your head. Completely drown it. Give a little bend in your knees and hold it. One, two, gently right leg back, left leg forward. From here, you drop the right knee and slowly come up. Bring both the arms in forward and only the left leg is forward. So open up the right arm. Open up your chest and slowly come back. Let's do it two more times. Open and close. One more time. Open and close. Send both the hands and send the left leg at the back. Once you send the left leg at the back, slowly drop your hips to the heels. Drop your hips to the heels and come back. Heels to the hips, come back. One more time. Heels to the hips and come back. From here, my dear friends, look at your fingers. Open up all your 10 fingers. Now, take your right leg and straighten it out. Take your left leg and straighten it out. That's it. That's it. That's all I want you to do it. Very good, Minal Leg. Five. Now look in between your 10 fingers. You're not looking up, not looking down. Right in between your 10 fingers. That's it. 
gentle bend to make sure your hips are not up. Five, four, three, two. What we are going to do is gently we're going to drop our knees. And we go back. Gently move forward and drop your chin. There's elbows, bring it back. From here, we're going to straighten up our legs. And gently come, you can be here. For Bhujangasana, you can be here. Or straighten your arms and hold it. One. Are you feeling the stretch in your stomach? So lift yourself up. And two. Now, my dear friends, curl up your toes. Lift up your knees. Now drop your knees again. And flatten up your flatten up your feet. You're not doing downward facing dog. Pay attention. Ready? So first curl up your toes. Now only two inches lift up the knees. And then again drop the knees and let go. One more time. Curl up your toes. Lift up both the knees. And slowly now you come to downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Walk one step forward and see if you can drop your heels. Drop the top of your head. And my dear friends, bend the right knee only. Left leg is straight, feeling, up, feeling the stretch. Not only you're feeling the stretch, but I'm opening up all the small fibers, all the small nadis, so that your blood can gush into it. And now, Straighten up the right leg and bend the left knee and push yourself at the back. So if you're here, push yourself at the back and hold it. Degeneration happens and a lot of our nadis close up. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Slowly come forward. Now walk your legs towards your toes and bring your fingers towards your toes and hold it. One, two. Gently tuck your chin to the chest. Take your time to come up. Shoulders and head is the last thing to come up. Straighten yourself out. Circle your shoulders. One, two, and three. Ready? For the other side, let's go. Bringing both the arms up. Lifting up our height so I can feel the stretch. Excellent, Smita Thakkar. Give me prayer hands. And now, hips forward and forward. Squeeze your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Gently straighten up yourself. Bring your arms forward. See if you can connect both the elbows. Both the elbows. Now take four counts to come down. Four, three. At the count of two, bend, gently bend your knees. Open up your fingers where the fingers and toes are touching. Top of your head, crown of your head is all the way down. Slowly, right leg back and drop the right knee. Now, bring both the arms forward. From here, open up the arms and we bring it forward. We open up the arms, we bring it forward. Opening up your chest, two more times. Open up your chest. Bring it forward. Last time, open up your chest. Bring it forward and slowly come on on your knees. Once you're on your knees, my dear friends, go back and come to Bhujangasana. Child's pose. And to Bhujangasana. Hips are touching the heels. And we come down to Bhujangasana. One more time. Hips touching the heels. And we come down to Bhujangasana. From Bhujangasana, my dear friends, curl up your toes. And lift up both the knees. Lift up both the knees. Straight line. Look right in between your, both the palm. And then a tiny bit forward. One. Two. This is it. This is it. I promise you. And three. Slowly drop your knees. Very good. Once you drop your knees, my dear friends, one more time. We're only going to lift up the knee for one count. Tiny bit. Only two inches. Lift up both the knees. Put all the weight in your palm. One, two, drop your knees. 
Try it. I know you can do it. Try it. Korji, try to go by. One, two, drop your wrist. One more time. One, two, from here, go to downward facing dog and hold it for one, two, and slowly, gently walk your tippy toes towards the your hands where the toes and fingers meet. Tuck your chin to the chest, taking a deep breath in as you breathe out. Do not untuck your chin yet. And now all the way up, untuck your chin and roll your shoulders. Excellent, excellent. Very good. I can't wait to talk about today's topic, sarcopenia. Sarcopenia, what does it mean? And why do you think that you don't have sarcopenia? Do you think you have sarcopenia? Let's find out very soon. So, all exercises today are totally, grab your weights, are totally, totally designed for sarcopenia. Okay, now my dear friends, this is what we are going to do. I'm going to show you a side view. My right leg is tipping, I'm tapping, tap. Tap on your big toe. One, two. Got it? From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop my heels and arms are on the side. Shoulders, very important. Press it back. Yes. A lot of people, even my doctor, she's round up. I keep on telling. Posture is very important. Now, gently come down. Can you come up? How do you know? that you're not going like this, go back. From your body, go back. And straight line down, straight line up. Okay, so Rupal, bring your first forward leg one inch forward. Down and up. And focus only on the back leg, back knee to bend and up. Last three. Two. Last one, can you hold it down? Hold it down as much as you can. Very good, bound a bit. Five, four, three, two, slowly come on back. Shake it out. The next exercise, you can use your weights or you can skip it wherever you are today. But this is how it goes. Palms are front, touching our front thighs. Now we go straight line. We're not going up. See the shoulder? See the shoulder? I'm in the shoulder. I'm not up or down. From here, we do a lateral raise, which is side open. And come forward. And then drop it. Kya baat hai, Shilpa ji? Lovely to see you. Lovely to see you. I missed you. But before we start that, can we go into a Pilate V where the heels are glued together? Heels are glued together. Ready? So, front, stay down, stay down, open, come up. Do you have to do the legs? No, you can do it straight like this, like this, and like this also. We're not going up, forward. It's forward, stay down, and you come up. Front, lateral raise, slow coming up. Front, lateral raise, come up. So we're going to make it very smooth. No pause. Do not pause in between. Almost like making an oval shape. Excellent, Devyani men. Every time you come up, make sure you zip up your thighs. Squeeze in your inner thighs. Very good. That's it. I have only two more left. Can you give me two more? Very good, Binta. Good job. Come on, Usha Bain. Very good, Meenal Gandhi. Last one. And excellent. Excellent. Let's drop one weight. We're going to drop one weight. We're going to open up our legs a little bit. And watch what I'm doing. I'm going to squat, but... So when I'm opening, the width is the edge of your yoga mat. 
if you want to see how far your legs are going, I know you're facing me, but turn around, see how far the width is of your yoga mat, the size of your yoga mat. That's what the width is. Uh, Meena being from Austin, turn around, put your legs in the edge of your yoga mat. So now you know what it is, right? Now I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to send my hip back. Only thing I'm doing is sending my hip back. So I'm sending my hip back. Because I'm sending my hip back, my knee is automatically going to bend. I have the weight in the right side. So sending the hip back and I come up. Weight is going towards the left big toe and I come up. Left and behind your head. Okay, ready? First look at your toes. All 10 toes are facing straight forward. Send your hip back. I don't want you to do any kind of squats. Just send your hip back. Very good. It doesn't have to go, the weight doesn't have to go to the floor. Send your hip back. Now, let's do one thing. Instead of your arm going to that, bring, send your hip, arm in the center of the room. So your shoulders are square. Center of the room, in between your legs. Very good. Little more in between your legs. Perfect Rupal. Perfect Meena Ben. Excellent Chandrawala Ben. Very good Bhavna Ben. Five. Four. Very good Roma. Don't send it back. Don't, don't rotate your shoulders Roma. Straight. Straight. Three. And two. Now let's switch. But this time, again, little more fix of the posture. So, Smita, what I want to do is pay attention. When I'm not sending my weight over there or in the center, I'm sending it towards my left leg. So, I'm straight. Straight up. Ha! Ah, you got it. Very good. Everybody got it. Thank you for keeping your windows open. Ready, Amita ji? Let's go. Ten. Nine. Excellent, Keka. Very good. Send your hips back. That is what we are doing. Sending our hips back. Doesn't have to go too low. Send your hips back for last three. Two. And one more. One more. That's it. One more. Excellent. Let's quickly take a break from our weights. Guess what? Keka's in the house. So we're going to do some garba. So tap back. Tap back. Then we tap back. Tap back. When I'm tapping back, and swing your arms and swing both the arms. No circles. Very good. Good job. Excellent posture. Tanaz is in the house. Come on, Binakshi Ben. Renuka Ben. I know, Neera, you can do a good job. Very good. Lily Mysteries in the house. Kya baat hai? Last five. Little faster if you can. Four. Three. Throw your arms back. Two. Ansabe. Very good. Coming up. Only one more is coming up. Finish your round. One. And slowly come back. Connecting both the hips, closing our eyes, taking a deep breath in and breathe out. One more time, deep breath in and breathe out. Very good, very good. Now, my dear friends, let's grab our ball and our Pilates ring. Taking the ball in between your thighs. <clears throat> and making sure we are changing the shape of the ball. Changing the shape of the ball. Keep the ring behind your hips. Touch it. Now push, push it at the back. And keep it there only. You know why I have it over there? 
again for your posture. I'm strengthening your back so we don't round up or we don't. So now when you have it at the back, what's happening? Your shoulder blades are squeezing and your hips are squeezing, right? This should be your posture for the day. Every time you feel you're like this, move your shoulders back. Very good. Leave the hand wherever it is and look down at your ball. Ten toes are facing forward. Bend your knees, gentle bend. One, two, three, stay down. Stay down, now squeeze. Ten, nine, gentle squeeze. Not a big one, not a small one. Very good. Excellent. Five, don't do anything with the ring. Just hold it at the back. Four, three, two, and keep it squeezed. Keep it squeezed for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly keep it squeezed. Bring your ring in forward. And take the padding of your hand, of your palm. Put it in front of your chest. Not here, not here. Front of your chest. Make it your best friend. Ten toes are facing forward. Pretend you have the ring if you don't have the ring. And you press it in and out. All the way in, all the way out. Where are my shoulders? Like this? No, push it back. Very good. Two more times. And when you come in, hold it inside me, Nabil. Hold it, Jessica. Hold it for five, four. Wait a minute. What are we going to do from here? Only go in only. Ready, coming a bit? Go in, bound a bit. In, two, three, four, five, six. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball, squeeze the ball also. Very good, Deviani. Good job, Hansa Ben, for five, four, three, two. Slowly let it go, Anna. Excellent, excellent. Very good. Letting go of the ball, letting go of the ring. I am going to meet you on the floor. And then we talk about what is sarcopenia. Very interesting topic. Now, my dear friends, as we come down, make sure you have your towels with you, extra cushion, and optional is weights. So I'm going to, I have this knee pad. So I'm going to put that underneath my knees. Okay. Now. For Hansa Bin, what you do is, you do all different kinds of chair exercise. Ama me karjo, me side to side karjo, gol gol fero jo, baddi nini exercise karjo. Very good. Thank you. Rest of us. Option is take one weight, put it behind your right knee. Now, open up all your 10 fingers. Hands are underneath our shoulders. Where are we looking? First, we start looking in between our both palms. From there, take your gaze a little bit forward. That's it. That's it. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to lift up our leg. Lift up our leg and we are going to Push it only quick up, quick up for quick 10, quick 10, 9, 8. Very good, Binta. Continue, Binta, continue. Last four, three, two. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. And can you give me a dime size circle? The size of a quarter. How about that? Yes, baby, anyway. Excellent. Very good. That's it. Only three more. And what are we doing? We're going to the opposite direction and pause. Now, circle it opposite way. Very good. Very slow circles. Last four, three, two, and pause. And slowly bring your, take the weight out and let's circle our wrist. Circle one, two, Three, reverse it, Svita Ji. Preeti Desai, reverse it. One, two, and three. Now, my dear friends, we are going to strengthen our spine and our hips. This is called bird dock. 
dot G A D G O D O G. How are we going to do that? So, right leg back, left leg, left hand forward. Now you look forward. Now lift up the right leg up and hold it for one, two, three. Come back. Okay, we're going to do it this two more times. Ready? Right leg straight up. Left arm out. Open up your five fingers for one, two, and three. Slowly come back. I promise you last time. Ready? Bird dog. You know what to do for bird dog. And squeeze it. Lengthen yourself. Send your fingers far away. Opposite. And send your toes far away. Lengthen yourself. Elongate yourself. And slowly let it go. Excellent. Take your right hand and stretch it out. Very good. Good job, Rika Ben. Asha Ben. Usha Ben. Let's do it. And Kalpana Ji is in the house. And slowly let's go to the opposite direction. Now, my weight is behind my left leg. I open up all my 10 fingers and the hands are underneath the shoulders. My gaze is a little bit forward. I lift up. And I'm going small pulses. Small ones. Don't come down at all. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5 more. Last 3. Two. Now point your toes and give me a nice circle. Nice circle. Only the size of it. Quarter. It's so small. This is it. Only five more. And what are we going to do? We're going to go in the opposite direction and pause. Ready? Opposite direction. For so that's it. Only ten counts. And that's it. Five more. Four. Three. Two, and lift it up and hold it for one, two, three. Slowly come down. Let go of the weights one more time. Rotation of your wrist. Only the wrist, not your arm. Very good. Good job, Renuka Ben. Renuji, come on. Now, bird dog. Forward dog. My right hand is forward and my left leg is back. Straight line. And I lift it up. Open up all your five fingers. Look forward for one, two, three. Drop it. Deep breath in. Breathe out. Lift up. Very good, Jessica. Come on. Hold it. Now, pull your fingers in the opposite direction and pull your toes at the back. Lengthen yourself for one, two, three. Let it go. I promise you only one more time. Ready? Lift up. Pull, 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 pull. For one, two, three. Slowly let it go. Take that right, left hand and stretch it out. Excellent. Before we go to our next exercise, one thing I wanted to explain to you is when we sit for our pranayam, and if you have half lotus, half lotus. So see how I'm sitting straight. My spine, my spine is straight. And when I say bow down to Mother Earth, which is prayer hands, taking a deep breath in, see how far you can, without lifting up your hips, and see if you can touch your fingers. And see, feel the stretch. Okay, slowly come up. This is what I mean when I say bow down to Mother Earth. Okay. One more quick exercise for you to know about your breathing. So take your hands, put it on your stomach. And when I say breathe in from your nose like this, make sure your belly is pulling forward like a balloon. Okay. And when I say breathe out, your belly goes in. So push your belly in. Now breathe in, push your belly out. Breathe out, belly goes in, 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 in. Breathe in, belly is a balloon. Push, put your hands so you will know exactly what to do. 
Very good, Tani Nube. Breathe out. Now, breathe in. Belly is brown. Breathe out. Squeeze it in. Breathe in. Last time. And you breathe out. That's what I mean. Whenever you are doing pranayam, this is the pattern of your breathing. Belly balloon and belly in. Okay. Now, my dear friends, one more time, we are going to strengthen our back. For that, all I want is we are going to go on our stomach and all I want to do is roll the ball out and my head, my forehead is dropping. Look what I'm doing first. Then roll the ball in. Only two inch and you're going like this. Doesn't have to come all the way in, okay? So, one, two, in, two, small ones. Down, two, in, in, two. This time, when you go out, two, and when you come in, lift up both the legs also. In, two, tiny bit, not too much. Don't arch your back. Down, two, in to hansa bein, mani ka exercise kari ni batavo. Body should be moving. Down two. In two. Down two. Lift up both the legs. Your head is down. Lift up both the legs and give me flutter legs, as if you are swimming. One, two, three, four, and five. Now slowly coming, 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 coming. Legs are up too. Legs are up. Legs are up. And hold it. Hold it, Rupa Masani. Hold it for five, four, three, two. Slowly let it go. Now, my dear friends, pay attention what I'm doing. So bring your legs like this. And right hand is the ball. I touch the left heel. I come back. Take the ball in the other hand. And I touch the right heel. Come back. Switch. Opposite hand. Opposite. Switch. Relax and do it. It's a new exercise, I know. But that's okay. Improving your flexibility. All I'm doing is my left hand is trying to touch the right heel with the ball. Right hand is touching the left heel. Very good. Two more counts. Gentle rotation. Very last set and last set. Gently, slowly come on up. Thank you very much for doing the exercise. We still need our ball, but grab your towels. The long towel is supporting our lower back, the small towel. Roll is supporting our cervical neck. And don't let go of that ball. We are going to put the ball in between our knees. Ball is in between your knees. Hansabe, you can do this exercise on the chair also. So put the ball in between your knees. And you are right here. Hands can be underneath. And all I'm doing is I'm bicycling. Can we bicycle? Come on, Jessica. Very good, Bauna Ben. Good job, Anna. Naina Mehta is in the house. Shweta is bicycling. If you need to keep your, if you need to fix your ball, you can keep on fixing your ball. But five, four, see? Three, two, and one. And slowly take the ball out of your head. And give me side to side. Drop both the knees side to side. Let's do it five counts, five sets of it. Four, three. Sangeeta ji, let's go. Last two, Ragini's in the house. 
last one and slowly my dear friends one more time bring the ball in between your thighs if you don't have the ball that's fine too we are going to do bridges bridges is the mother load of all because bridges will target your it bend bridges targets your quadricep bridges targets your hamstring your glutes and above all your core so hands go underneath and taking a deep breath in only our hips are coming up so look up straight make sure you have cushion in your neck taking a deep breath in when you breathe out you come up once you are up squeeze the ball for one cup squeeze one keep the squeeze and slowly come down very good Deep breath in, breathe out, and you come up, squeeze the ball for two cups. Squeeze one, squeeze two. Keep the squeeze, gently come down. Lift up, squeeze three cups. One, two, three, gently come down. Breathe in, breathe out, up, build up, and squeeze it for four, three, two, one. Gently come down. Lift up, recover. And squeeze it for five counts. Five, four, three, two, last one. Gently come down. Mila, let's go. Lift up and squeeze it for six counts. Five, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. I'm not going to ten, so don't worry if we're almost done. Lift up. Squeeze it for seven counts. Squeeze it. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Gently come down. I promise you. Last time. Lift up. Give me eight. Give me good eights. Good eights, Roba. Ten, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Gently come down. Excellent. Very quickly. Let go of the ball and press your knees and give them a nice hug. And rock side to side. Then Make a letter O. Massage your back and opposite direction. Nicely, gently massaging her back. Very good. Good job. Now, my dear friends, slowly straighten up your legs. Hands behind your boots. See if you can keep it straight. Can we walk? Can we walk? Five, four, three, two, Gently rock yourself up. Keep on rocking three times. See if you can rock. Again, improving our flexibility. With that, we are improving our balance. Last time, wherever you are and you come up, hold your thighs. Hold it. Hold it. Very good. Wherever you are. Fix yourself from here. Stay there only. Let go of your right hand. Look straight, look straight forward. Don't worry. Let go of your left hand only if you can. Otherwise, you hold it. A gentle hold is fine too. And hold it. See if you can straighten up a tiny bit of your legs. And hold it for five, four, three, two, one. And give a nice hug. Drop your chin to the chest. Slowly come on up. Very good. Before we start knowing what is Sarcopenia. Sit up. Right hand up. Left hand on the side. Look at these fingers and then take a deep breath in. Gently dip down and hold it. Pull your arm. Pull the top, top arm. Stretch it out. Gently come up. Left hand. Right hand glides out. And the top hand, move your fingers, elongate your body. Gently come up. Now the right hand on the left knee and rotate yourself. Do not lift up your hips, relax. Eyes are closed, body is ready to unwind. Gently come forward. Left hand on the right knee. Look over your right shoulder. And gently come back. Beautiful. You can do any stretch you want. You can be in malasana. You can be in butterfly. Wherever you are today. 
but I definitely, definitely need your attention. Any kind of Q&A, we will do it at the end of the class. Today's pranayam, I'm going to add one or two more new pranayams. With that, again, we will do bastrika at the end. So that when we lay down, that also I want to talk about. I have so many things to, to talk. So when we lay down, my dear friends, what do I want? I want your palm to be open, not facing down like this, but no, no pressure, no weight, but as if it's dead, let it go. And what are your toes? Your toes are dropped sideways. Your feet, your feet are dropped sideways. And completely relax. After Bastrika, when we do that, I want you to only, only observe what's happening in your body. What kind of vibration you have. Oh my God, what a big topic. Sarcopenia. So what happened is that I've been working out with this young girl who is in her 30s. And we almost do the same workout. For years and years, we almost do the same workout. In fact, I feel I might be doing extra more because I teach also, right? But the gradual change I have seen in her body and the results I have seen in her body is fantastic. I don't see that results in me. One vacation, I'm up four pounds. I'm not losing it. It takes me a long time to lose it. The results of me, a 60-year-old, is much slower than the result of a 30-year-old girl. Why is that? Because, because we all, if you are 45 or 50 and above, we all have sarcopenia. What is sarcopenia? Sarcopenia is a natural aging process. There's nothing we can do, just like the graying of our hair. There is nothing we can do to delay it. You have no control over it. Please keep on giving me thumbs up wherever I'm connecting to you or wherever I'm understanding. So I know that I'm going in the right flow. So sarcopenia is nothing but aging process. It is a condition. We all have this condition of aging where we lose skeletal, our skeleton, our skeleton has muscle mass. We lose skeletal muscle mass. Are you with me so far? Okay, thank you. Now, this muscle loss, when we lose this muscle loss, what are we losing? We are losing our strength. We are losing our balance. So, if we could carry heavy bags, but now, no way you're going to carry that heavy bag. That means we're losing our muscle strength. Chances of us of falling is very much. So do you, do you realize that our body lingo has changed? Right away we say, hey, look forward. There is a step which is imbalance. Have you noticed that? Or right away we will see or we will tell our people with us is, oh, there is a step down, look forward. When did we ever notice all that? When we were growing up? No, we were not. But now what is happening is we are being conscious about it. We can't lift up those, we cannot perform the same task we used to perform. Grocery bags, we would carry so heavy groceries bags and come up. Now what do we do? But you will not push yourself to carry it. It's not about that because you don't have the strength also. So far, you know, do I make sense? Thank you. Thank you. Even simple climbing up our stairs. 
per 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 per. Does it do with that? Do we do that now? No, we slow down. And when we are coming down, climbing down, don't we look down to see where the next step is? Did we ever see that before? Again, why? Because we all have sarcopenia, losing of the skeletal muscle mass. And pay attention now. This is very important. I've done a lot of research on it so that we all can learn from it. Is this, I think this is all done with research. Scientists believe that because we slow down our physical activity as we get older, we don't have the gist that, you know, to do it, laziness is taking over. So what is happening? The inactivity of our physical body and unhealthy eating. I cannot emphasize anything more than unhealthy eating. I'm the biggest victim on it. Talk to me. I was in the plane. I landed this morning from New York. Guess what I'm doing in my plane? First thing I do is I open up my butterfinger and without any guilt, I eat it up. Unhealthy eating, Preeti Kara. So I'm one of you also. But inactivity, which is not there in me, thank God. But inactivity and unhealthy eating is the major, major factor for our disease. Why? Sarcopenia affects our brain. Sarcopenia, our brain reduces the cognitive performance because of our inactivity. We are not challenging. When I'm asking you to do right arm up and left arm in the side, what is happening? What is happening? I am challenging your brain. So both sides of the brain have to work. When I'm asking you to do circles, opposite direction, both sides of the brain have to work. But exercise it now, karo, ke any kind of games we play, Sudoku, we play word game, whatever ge card games, whatever. We're not at keeping our brain active. Because what is happening? We're coming into that retirement stage, right? Kids are gone. So now the brain doesn't have to be used. Otherwise, with children, we have to be very active of uh, convincing them or presenting things to them or working with them, helping with their homework. The brain has slowed down, my dear friends. If there is no activity, what is happening is that it reduces the cerebral blood flow in our brain. Guess what happens with that? Dementia. Alzheimer's. So I cannot emphasize enough for you, for me to tell you that why you need to attend or do regular workout. I'm doing it with you only two times a week. Commit to it, my dear friends. I'm not preparing your body for now. I'm preparing your body for 10 years from now. People are going to come and tell you, wow, you're doing very good for your age. Why? Because you're preparing your body from now. So I'm doing a big study which is going to also come up is on dementia and Alzheimer. I thought I should just share with you. It really shocked me. People going in dementia is not overnight. That detection or the process of dementia happens 10 years before you really recognize or realize that, oh shit, you're detected with dementia. 10 years. I'm doing a big research on dementia and Alzheimer's. So my dear friends, your body working out with me, doing the prana, I am doing all this exercise. Don't give up. You travel, you come back. But coming back, scar sarcopenia, inability of exercise, slows down the brain flow, which also activates, we are going towards dementia. Also, sarcopenia have a genetic effect. So very serious condition if you are inactive in your life. What happens if you're inactive? Very basic thing. You will gain weight. Right? Once you gain, what is gain weight means? You're gaining fat. Correct? You're gaining fat. What happens with that? Not only it leads to all the disease, it also leads to osteoporosis. How important it is. Can sarco sarcopenia be reversed? Absolutely, it can be reversed. But guess what? All the tricks and all the answers how to fix it, 
how to do and what to do and what not to do. We will be talking on Wednesday. So we're going to continue with our topic. But one more thing I want to end up is that we start losing muscle mass after the age of 30. After the age of 30, every year, we lose 3 to 5% of the muscle mass. So now you do the math. Whatever your age is, from 30 to there, how many percent of muscle mass you have lost? So we do weight training. But I will give you all the answers. Definitely all the answers are coming on Wednesday. With that Maybe, maybe we will request our favorite Dr. Devyani Bain to also shed some light and give her medical expertise also. Kangya Devyani Bain Chene. Kangya Devyani Bain. I'm sure she's here somewhere. Oh, there she is. There she is. I found her. I found her. Thank you, Devyani Bain. Thank you. But with that, all the QA, we can do it after the. Pranayam. We will start our pranayam. I thank you all for coming. And with a beautiful smile. Do I see a smile from Gemini Bin? Rupa Masrani has a beautiful smile. Shilpaji, my heart is full of gratitude seeing you. I missed you. Thank you for coming. Arundhati ji. Every time you come, it's a pleasure. Shweta, Naina Ben. We have two minals. Love both my minals. Preeti Desai. Jessica is in the house from Mumbai. I love you all. And we start today's prana pranayam. We will start today's pranayam first with doing a lion pose where the tongue comes out and the eyes roll up. Can we do that? Only three times, not more. Ideally, you're supposed to be in Vajrasan. Being in Vajrasan, your palms go back like this. So, I don't know. Okay. You all know what we're doing. Very good. Taking a deep breath in. Second set. Deep breath in. And Set number three, deep breath in, and so unwinding from the posture, getting ready to calm our body down getting ready to open up all our chakras, getting ready to float our body. Spine is straight, sitting in half lotus. We will start with activating our Manipura chakra. For Manipura chakra, we will also add our Prana Mudra, internal organ exercise, which is Kapal Bhati, where the stomach goes in and out, forceful breathing in and out, high blood pressure, don't have to rush, take it easy. For Prana Mudra, take your in ring finger to the tip of your thumb, pinky finger to the tip of your thumb, press it, flip it, and put it on your knees. 
before we close our eyes, my dear friends, when we do pranam or when we do second set of kapal bhati, to so still activate the prana mudra and lock your nose, okay? But the prana mudra is activated. Eyes are closed. 25 counts of kapal bhati. First, consciously take a deep breath in, breathe all the air out, and go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Slowly letting it go. Eyes are still closed. Getting ready for our three bandhas. So take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out all the air and drop your chin to the chest and no more breathing. Chin to the chest is Udhyan buns. Squeeze your belly button to the spine. And send all your focus squeezing your hips, your glutes, your anal glands. No more breathing. Hold your breath. Chalanda band. Stomach lock is Udhyan band. And anal lock is Mula band. Mula band helps with digestion. Piles. Slowly unlock your chin. Release your stomach. Release your glutes and now take a deep breath in and breathe out. Getting ready for second set of Kapal Bhati. Take the right, left and first two fingers. Lock your left nostril. Rotate your head over your right shoulder for single nostril Kapal Bhati. Forceful breathing in and out. 20 counts. Go. This Kapal Bhati is strengthening our liver. Five, four, three, two, last one. Eyes are still closed. Unlock the nostril. Getting ready to exercise our pancreas. Lock, take the right first two finger. Lock the right nostril. Rotate your head over the left shoulder and go. Five, four. Three, two, last one. Unlock the nostril. Come back to the center. One more time. Three bandhas. Take a deep breath in. Completely breathe out and hold your breath and drop your chin. Squeeze your belly button for stomach lock. Squeeze your anal lock. Chin lock. Benefits with thyroid, tonsils. And also it makes your voice pleasant. Five, four, three, two. Gently unlock your chin. Release your stomach and glutes. And now consciously take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Getting ready to improve our oxygen level. Oh, sorry. We're going to do sheetli. So, curl up your tongue, suck in the cool air and seal your lips and hold your breath. Keep your lips sealed and release your breath from the base of your throat and your nose. Next two set, on your own. Curl up your tongue. Last time. <clears throat> Cheatly is excellent for menopause, acidity, thyroid. Second exercise is Shitkari. Same way. Clench your teeth, suck in the cool air, seal your lips and hold your breath. Keep your lips sealed and release your breath from the base of your throat. Two more times on your own. Mm. 
One more time. Eyes are closed, getting ready to improve our oxygen level. By doing anulom vilom will help to regulate our cholesterol sinus. It is going to activate our emotions, our sacral chakra. For that, only with the left hand, give me Vayu Mudra. Take your index finger to the root of your thumb and press it. Vayu Mudra helps with sciatica, knee pain. With your right hand, bend the index finger, mail the middle finger, flip it. Take the right thumb, lock your right nostril and follow my counts for your breathing. We're going to breathe with our left nostril. Breathe in, two, three, four. Lock both the nostrils and hold your breath. And my dear friends, do not rush for your breathing. Now, exhale from the right, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right, two, three, four. Lock your both nostrils for four, three, two, one. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale left, two, three, four. Lock four, three, two, one. Exhale right, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale right, two, three, four. Lock four, three, two, one. Exhale left, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale left, two, three, four, lock four, three, two, one, exhale right, five, six, inhale right, lock four, exhale left, five, six, inhale left, lock four, Exhale right. Inhale right. Lock four. Exhale left. Six. Inhale left. Lock four. Exhale right. Inhale right, lock four, and exhale left, two, three, four, five, six, slowly, keeping your eyes closed, releasing that posture. Now, we are going to do box breathing. In box breathing, imagine the shape of a square. So... We are going to breathe with both our nostrils. We breathe in for four counts. We hold our breath for four counts. And with both the nostrils, we exhale for four counts. And we hold our breath for four counts. So follow my lead. Ready? With both the nostrils. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold your breath for four. Three, two, one. Exhale with both the nostrils, two, three, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Hold your breath for four, three, two, one. Breathe in, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Last time. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Out. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Getting ready for Brahmri.
after Brahmri, we will be doing two sets of Bhastrika. First set is going to be 10 counts. Second set is going to be 15 counts, but a little faster. High blood pressure, patience, please be mindful. As soon as we are done with our last set of Bhastrika, without wasting any breath, gently lay down yourself and just only observe the dynamic changes happening in your body. Getting ready for Brahmri. Tuck in your thumb, in your ears, index finger, over your eyelids. Gently pressing your nostril with your middle finger, ring finger on your upper lip, pinky finger on your jawline, making a humming, buzzing bee sound for three sets. Take a deep breath in. Mm. Set number two, deep breath in. Mm. Last set, deep breath in. Mm. Gently untuck your fingers. Getting ready for Bastrika. First set, 10 counts. Arms are up. Ready? Go. Nine, 10. Arms forward to armpit. Nine, 10. Chicken wings. Nine, ten. Second set, fifteen counts. Arms up. Go. Fourteen, fifteen. Arms forward. Go. Fourteen, fifteen. Chicken wings. Twenty counts. Nineteen twenty. Slowly let it go. Gently relax your body and lay down. Palm facing up. Enjoy the vibrations. Beautiful place to be.
body is full of gratitude. The whole body has not a single bone of meanness, not a single thought of negativeness. Body is floating, Observe that body gently with full awareness and rotate to your favorite side. Bend those knees. Imagine you are in a fetus position in the womb. Keeping your eyes closed. Gently, only if you want to, bring yourself up. Eyes are still closed. Pray your hands. We bow down and touch Mother Earth to seal our practice today. Slowly, gently bringing ourselves up, rubbing both our palms, releasing the heat. And taking the base of our palm, gently press your eyelid. This is where you've collected that magical portion of energy. Take your palm and cover your face. Blink and open and close your eyes. Release that energy. Now, close the eyes. Cupping the energy in the palm, rub it over your glowing face all over your body, especially where you are hurting. Eyes are still closed. Taking the special moment to thank each and every part of our body for letting us work out today. With a beautiful smile, gently we open up our eyes from my heart to your heart. Namaste. I'm going to unmute all of you. Please do share your experience of the class of sarcopenia and of the meditation, where whatever you want to share. Thank you.